Hi everyone, I'm Melissa Bourbon, author, writing coach, writing instructor, freelance editor, copywriter, but I am also a cover designer. Today I want to take a little bit of time to talk about ebook cover design. It's so important to understand the key elements of an ebook cover in particular. Why? Because the visibility of your ebook cover can be the difference between your book being discovered or lost in a sea of others. And that's no joke. In the ever expanding world of independent publishing, the cover is sort of like the equivalent of your book's digital storefront. It's sort of everything. It's how your book gets discovered by readers. So today I'm delving into the best practices for indie ebook cover design so that you can capture the attention of your target audience. These are best practices for compelling ebook covers and how you can master cover design or work with your cover designer to get the right cover created or what to look for if you're looking at pre-made covers. First, let's take stock. There are literally millions of ebooks available online. That is a lot of covers for potential readers to sift through. It might be easier to find a needle in a haystack than for a reader to find your book online. That is the sad truth. Because of this, it's essential to make your book stand out. The best way to do that, and the first thing that's going to grab a reader's attention, is your ebook cover. I'm going to use some of my pre made covers to illustrate the points that I'm making. First, is you want to make it pop. Look at Death by Daiquiri, which is a cozy mystery pre made cover. There's an entire series, and it has a daiquiri and spilled pills. Attractive and well-designed covers are crucial for grabbing potential readers attention and then taking the next step to encourage them to explore your books. In an online marketplace, cover design images can be very small. Your ebook cover therefore needs to pop. It must immediately spark a reader's interest so they click to see more. Okay, here are the best practices. First is to know your target audience. Mastering the art of ebook cover design means knowing who your ideal reader is. You need to know that before anything else. Why? Because different genres and demographics have distinct expectations for book covers. A romance novel cover is going to be significantly different from, say, a science fiction thriller or a fantasy. So you want to make an ideal reader profile and use that person as your key target reader. Number two, research and analyze your genre. Look at the front of this quaint tea shop series. It's a pre-made cozy mystery cover steeped in deceit. It meets genre expectations. And here's a snowy scene with a lot of evergreens, a cozy house with candles and lights, and a black man and a white woman about to kiss. Again, we have genre expectations met here as a romance, plus we're demonstrating the multicultural element, and it's very visible. Genres have distinct reader expectations, both with the story and with the cover. So before creating your book's cover on your own or with a cover designer, or if you're looking at pre-mates, take the time to really think about it, to do a little research. Identify popular design trends of similar books to what you write and look at the top selling books in that category or in that genre. Identify several comp titles, meaning books that are really similar to yours that have the same target audience. This is going to help you refine what your cover should look like to ensure that it resonates with your potential readers. You are not copying. You are making sure that what you create is aligned with genre and reader expectations. Number three in best practices is typography. It matters. Look at this holiday-themed contemporary romance cover with a couple kissing in a snowy background. We can see the title clearly. Using typography effectively really matters. Your cover text should be easily legible, even when scaled down to a thumbnail size online. That's what people are going to see first. So choose fonts that align with your book genre, that are visually appealing, easy to read, and convey the book's mood or theme effectively. Experiment with styles and sizes to create an engaging and unique look for your book. Be mindful of letter spacing, kerning, line spacing, padding, which is the distance between text and the edge of your cover, and alignment to make a clean and professional looking cover based on that typography. Next is to use visually striking imagery. This book has a bright, happy orange background, a black female and male, two hearts strung between them, and the title, Kiss Me Katya. 
Along with the typography, the eye-catching imagery is the core of an effective book cover design. Whether it's a photograph, an illustration, or a combination, it needs to be visually appealing and relevant to your book's content. High-resolution images are absolutely essential. Make sure that the images used are not only relevant, but also crystal clear. We do not want anything pixelated or blurry. That can definitely turn off potential readers. And it smacks of unprofessionalism in the cover design. And you don't want the reader to question how professional you are and, and if your book is quality. Number five is to maintain a cohesive color scheme. Here I have a series of multicultural witchy paranormal pre-made book covers. It's a set of six and you can see how the color schemes, number one, complement the genre and theme of this paranormal series. It could be taken towards women fiction or cozy or romance. Paranormal generally has jewel tones. So color of this set of pre-mades complements or meets reader expectations for that genre. They also work together as a whole. So anybody looking is going to immediately know that this is part of that series. Consistency and color choices helps to create a visually appealing and unified design for a book and or a series. Having a color palette that reflects your book's genre can instantly capture your potential reader's attention so that they click to look further into your book. Additionally, avoid using too many colors as it can be overwhelming. Two to three main colors are generally sufficient. Number six is balance and composition. Here is a pre-made paranormal witchy cover with a witch standing or floating on the peak of a rooftop holding onto a star with the tip of her broom. Two black cats in a funky house are on the cover. The composition is balanced. If you've ever looked at a piece of art or a book cover that just didn't work for you, chances are good that the composition was off, meaning where things are placed in relation to each other. Mastering the art of ebook cover design means having a well-balanced composition with all the visual elements. That means image, title, subtitle, and the author name, as well as an author blurb. It needs to be harmoniously arranged on the cover. It also means understanding background and foreground, shadows and perspective. So make sure your ebook cover's composition is balanced and artistically sound. Number seven is to reflect your book's essence. Here is a smoky blue background with two illustrated people, a man and a woman, both with stacks of books and both reading. Love on the reading list. This is a contemporary romance cover and it fits the trend that's happening right now. So if somebody sees this, they're going to recognize what kind of book it is. So think of your book cover as a visual synopsis sort of of your book's essence. To accomplish this, imagery or artwork, color scheme, typography, all need to encapsulate the mood, genre, and storyline of your book. Make it visually arresting to draw in potential readers. Mastery of these elements means greater success with your ebook cover design. Number eight is to keep it simple. Here is a lavender cover with floating flowers or falling flowers in a pre made women's fiction ebook cover. This again is really representative of some books that are very popular out there right now. The simplicity of it really matters. It makes a statement. It's essential to make your cover eye-catching. Sometimes simplicity can be the most effective way to accomplish this. Maybe not in a, in a fantasy book where you've got a lot of elements that you're trying to tie in to convey your story or even in a cozy mystery. They can be more complicated with background scenes to, to show the quaintness of a town, for example. But complexity can muddy the waters. So avoid cluttered designs and excessive details that can confuse or overwhelm potential readers, especially when they're looking at a thumbnail. It's challenging to capture a reader's attention with that thumbnail size cover. So when it's overly busy, it gets even harder. A clean, well-organized cover that clearly identifies the key elements of your book, genre, mood, and tone, is often accomplished with simplicity. Number nine, consistency across a series. Here's a drink themed cozy mystery pre-made book series. There's a set of six of these covers. They, even though they're different colors, you can tell that they are part of the same series because of the style of the imagery, because of the typography, because of the design elements. 
All of those things are so important. If you are writing a series of ebooks or if you plan to do that, you want to maintain consistency in that cover design. This is going to help readers recognize your brand and easily identify related books within your series. So books within a series should use a consistent layout, fonts, and color schemes, either the same color scheme or complementary colors. Readers should be able to tell instantly that any given book is part of the same series. Number 10 is to get feedback. Here are two versions of one of my books, Pleading for Mercy. I wasn't sure which one would be more effective, so I got reader input. I presented them to my readers, and they let me know which one appealed to them more. They are your audience, after all, so it's A-B testing. Don't hesitate to seek feedback on your book cover design. Do some A-B testing with different book covers or ask fellow authors friends, writing groups, and even readers. You want their opinions. Constructive criticism can help you and or your cover artist refine your cover's design and make it more appealing to your target audience. To wrap up, creating a captivating ebook cover is an essential step in the self-publishing journey. Second only to writing a compelling and well-written story. A well-designed cover not only attracts readers, but also conveys the essence of your book. So follow these best practices for ebook cover design to increase your chances of grabbing the attention of your potential readers and boosting your book's success in this digital marketplace. Remember, your ebook is the first impression you have to make on your audience, so make it count. Here are a couple of samples just to look at some of those elements. Here's the forgotten ebook. It's a pre made cover, Day of the Dead, with a painted Day of the Dead face and the title The Forgotten. Chill to the Cone, which is a pre made cover with an ice cream truck in a park with a tree and a spilled ice cream cone. I have a Christmas series with a sassy woman in an elf outfit. A lavender background kind of goes against type for Christmas, it actually allows for the Christmas elements to be emphasized. And here is a paranormal mystery cover with a graveyard, a house, and a black cat. So right away, we understand that this is going to be a mystery. Check out my pre-made covers on writersparkacademy.com. I also do custom covers. Whether you work with me or somebody else or do them on your own, keep these best practices in mind because they hopefully will guide you as you're creating covers or as you choose covers to to make the most of the opportunity okay happy writing i'll see you next time